Don't get me wrong, in the world of sports, there have been some real excuses, but this one may take the cake. This is Mike Greenberg. He's been at ESPN since 1996 and has hosted various shows. Now, when the Knicks lost to the Heat, conversation over the weekend that we had on on Countdown with the, the you know the guys, particularly from Jalen, was how hard it is to go down to Miami and play this time of year. And I know people will immediately associate that with the nightlife and all that. But according to Jalen, there's more than that. There's also just the reality of the temperature change, the heat, the geography, being down there for three days. It sort of saps a little bit of your energy and your strength. We talk about that primarily in football. I know this is an indoor sport. But, I mean, the Knicks, whatever it is, Jimmy Butler is just, has, has just destroyed them. And the Knicks, all year long, were the team that played harder and wanted it more. The weather? Look, I have seen and heard some of the worst excuses in sports. Heck, I remember the Houston Texans' Brian Cushing blaming working out too much for a positive test. Do you understand how insane that was? I'm not kidding. He called it overtrained athlete syndrome. His excuse was, I'm just built different. Even more psychotically, Cushing failed a test, played the season anyway, won defensive rookie of the year, then was suspended. In the world of cycling, some of the best excuses. I have seen Floyd Landis say he had high testosterone levels because he took shots of Jack Daniels. And then he would later say, oh, maybe it was beer. Uh, speaking of people who were served beer, I remember Jeff Kent, the power slugging second baseman, saying he suffered a broken wrist washing his car only for us to learn he did not break his wrist washing his car. It was his motorcycle. Who could forget another cyclist? This one might be my favorite, though. Tyler Hamilton offered the best of them all. I could not get a blood transfusion. Come on. That's malarkey. It came from a vanishing twin. His expert would argue Hamilton had a twin that died in utero, but prior to dying, contributed some cells to him during fetal life. An arbitration panel heard it and was like, yeah, not going to cut it. But hang on. There would be another cyclist who would try to one-up Hamilton and Floyd Landis. And his name? Audrey Vanderpool. And he said, hey, uh, hold my twin. I got you. Strychnine is a banned substance. It is also a rodent poison, but somehow in the same breath, can limit leg muscles from tiring. He claims it wound up in his system after he ate a pie made by his pigeon racing father, and the pie came from doped up pigeons. The math ain't math. Then there was Dieter Baumann, the German athlete's defense to seeing a banned anabolic substance show up on a test was... Toothpaste. Someone spiked my toothpaste. Look, there are plenty more. As the Baltimore Sun would list in like bullet point fashion. Here you go. Justin Gatlin blamed it on a massage. Rafael Palmero pointed his finger at you. He took steroids, but he blamed it on vitamins. Peter Corda, shout out to Flintstones Vitamins. Peter Corda blamed veal. Barry Bonds, flaxseed oil. Dennis Mitchell, Sex and alcohol, baby. One athlete even blamed orange juice. Great excuse. Then there was Iker Casillas blaming his girlfriend for distracting him for the reason he gave up a goal. There was Sammy Sosa's cork bat. There was Andy Pettit misremembering. Speaking of, Jameis Winston also misremembered to pay his tab for crab legs. There's plenty here. But blaming a team loss... In an indoor sport, on the weather, I could understand guys might, and girls, might feel under the weather. But to blame it is bad. <laughs> How do you... <laughs> it's, it's so stupid, it's funny. What about the Denver Nuggets? Ass awful announcing. Are we really talking about the weather of games in air conditioned arenas and just going to ignore Denver enjoying real physical advantages by forcing road teams to play in a high altitude environment that literally makes it harder to breathe? Well, that's a good point. That that is a better excuse than blaming Miami weather.